Hello and welcome to another tutorial by LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to build a, another Python program. Uh, in the previous one we converted Celsius to Fahrenheit in our program. Let's uh, convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. It's a little bit different. Um, we're going to have to use a couple extra steps here. So uh, let's dive into it. Okay, to open your text editor, I use Sublime Text. I'll make Command N for a new file. Command Save to save it. And once this pops up, I'm going to do F to, oops, I got to bring it down so you can see it. F to C dot P Y, so Fahrenheit to Celsius, and I'll save it. All right, ignore that. So the first thing I want to do is just do a little print statement to welcome my user to my Fahrenheit to Celsius program here, my awesome program. So I'm going to say, Welcome to Farron. I'm going to try to spell this right today because I spelled it wrong yesterday in the tutorial. Celsius tutorial. Oh, actually, not tutorial, program. Program. So this is a print statement. It's just going to print this to the screen when the user bring, runs the program. Uh, next thing we want to do is get the user's input. So to do this, we're going to do FH equal to, and first we need to take the user's input and make it a float. So if the user gives the number four, we want it to be a floating point number, not a string, because when input, when we get a user's input, it comes in as a string. And then I'm going to do input to get the user's input. And in there, I'm going to give, him, give the user a prompt. Please give us a temperature in Fahrenheit. Period, and I give a space just to uh, push the um, number off the string when the user types it in. And then we got to do the equation. So we're going to do cell. It's going to be our variable for the value of the equation. And to do this, um, first I want to round it because uh, when you get the user's input and change into Celsius, you can run into issues where your um, number is very long with decimal points or numbers after a decimal point. Uh, so let's do round first. Then we're going to take our fa Fahrenheit variable and the Fahrenheit variable is what the user gave us so it's going to be the Celsius here and we're going to minus it by 32 which we need to put this in parentheses because we need this to run first oops another parentheses sorry so we want the Celsius number or the Fahrenheit number the user gives us we want that to be subtract 32 first. And then we want to times that number that we get from the Celsius number in 32. We want to times that by 5. Divide it by 9. And this is the equation. So if I got 32, times it by 5, divided by 9, I would get 0. And that would be 32 degrees or 0 Fahrenheit, if you got what I'm saying. Uh, this is the equation to figure out, convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So what I also want to do is add a comma here because this goes with the round built-in function and I want one number after the decimal point. So what we're doing here is first we're going to run the subtraction equation here from our Fahrenheit number and we're going to subtract, subtract 32. Next thing's going to happen is the value that comes from this equation here is going to be times by 5 then divide it by 9. And then the round function is going to run and round our number up or down depending on where it is on the decimal point of 1. Alright, and it's going to show one number after the decimal point. Alright, so we got Celsius ran. Now I want to do one more print statement. I'm going to return this to the user. I'm going to say the temperature in Celsius is and I'm going to use curly break, braces. This is how we format a string. I'm going to do format. 
and then I'm going to put cell in here. So what we're doing here is we're going to format the string. And we're going to add in our Celsius number into the string right here where the curly braces are. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to go and open my Python or my terminal. I'm going to change into my desktop because that's where we saved it. Return. And now we want to run it. So we do Python 3. And... Is it? f2c.py which is our file and then py is a python per or python code so we hit return and we'll see if it works give us a temperature in Fahrenheit well, let's do 32 degrees and we know that would be zero and Celsius so we hit return ah zero pretty sweet huh let's try it again press up button well, let's go ahead and do 92 degrees I wish it was 92 degrees here today because it's freezing at 33.3 Celsius. So now you know how to figure out Fahrenheit and Celsius. So let's run through this one more time what we did. We made a print statement which prints to the screen. So if we look at our code here, the print statement, hold on, I'm just trying to get them lined up here for you. The print statement right here is says, welcome to the Fahrenheit to Celsius program. So that prints to the screen. Next thing it says, please give us a temperature in Fahrenheit. So what happens is, please give us a temperature in Fahrenheit. We get the user's input, and we change it to a floating point number. Next thing that happens, it doesn't happen on the screen. This is ran behind the scenes, and what we do is we take Fahrenheit, the number the user gave us, minus that by 32. So this is the first thing that happens because it has parentheses around it. We're going back to grade school. And then times it by 5, and divide it by 9. That gives us our number in Celsius, our temperature in Celsius. And then we round it because we don't want this number to show up super long. All right. If you know, if it came back 33.33333, there's a bunch of threes ain't going to mean anything to us if we are, you know, outside and we want to know temperatures. It's not going to mean anything. So we just round it to the next decimal here. You could actually just take this off take that out and it will just round to a whole number that's your choice and then we go back and we print it to the user so we print the temperature in Celsius is we print it and then right here we use format with the curly brace and we import the temperature, uh, the temperature we got from here in Celsius from our equation it's pretty simple if you have any questions leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com and uh, we'll see you in the next one. I believe we're going to do let the user choose if it's going to be Celsius or Fahrenheit, and we'll write a little bit longer program in the next one. Have a good one. See you.